Mikey Garcia will be facing um, Robert Easter Jr. You know, tomorrow for the 135 pound championship. Uh, to me, this this is this is going to be a good fight. Um, I believe Mikey is going to win. I just believe Mikey is the better fighter. Mikey Mikey has the more experience. Just just look at his uh, his resume. Uh, he has fought better fighters, and you know he just have a better pedigree than um, you know. Uh, Easter Jr. No disrespect to Easter Jr. Easter Jr. is a he's he's a good fighter. Um, I can't say he's you know he he's a top fighter. Yes, he has a uh, you know he has a title, uh, but he's not a top fighter. And uh, I seen Robert Easter when he won the title. He looked pretty good that night. And I seen him previous before that fight. He looked pretty good. Then all of a sudden he just after he won the title he just started having. I'm not gonna say he had subpar performances. I'm just gonna say he had performances that. I didn't see him, you know, previously before he won a title. Now, could that be lack of focus? Could that be that he's making a little bit more money now? And, you know, he gets a little, you know, everybody, you know, some people get, get a little complacent in their training and in, in their preparation. But I can't say that because I'm going to say it's more technical with uh, Robert Easter. He looks like he's a banger uh, more than a, you know, boxer or using his height. He, he, the man is six feet at fighting at 135 pounds. And most guys he fight, he's going to be taller than those guys by three or four inches. And I don't, he doesn't use none of his advantages. He, he, see, he's not a, he's not a, a to me, he's not a, a heavy handed or a concussive puncher. He got good, good power. Uh, he can get, you know, he can get you out of there if he, you know, if he connect, you know, in a decent manner. But I, I, I don't think that he will be able to uh, work and be as, be as busy against uh, Mikey Garcia. I think Mikey Garcia, is going to fight him from the outside. Uh, and you would think that, uh, you know, Robert Easter will have the advantage fight from the outside, but Robert Easter want to be on the inside. Robert Easter likes to fight. And to me, that could be a detriment uh, fighting, Mike, fighting Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia can punch, and especially at 135. Now, we've seen him at 140 when he fought Lippinez. Yes, he did knock Lippinez down, but I didn't see the same power uh, at, that I've seen for Mikey Garcia at 126, 130, 135. And to me, he can punch pretty good at 135. I see Mikey Garcia uh, stopping um, uh, East, Easter Jr. But the simple fact is, yes, Easter Jr. may come out using his reach. Uh, Kevin Cunningham said he he got him, he stripped him down and you know rebuilt and refined all his tools, and he want Robert Easter to to use his uh, his advantages, his reach, and fight from the outside. That may last one or two rounds, maybe three rounds. But as soon as uh, Mikey Garcia hit him with something significant, he's gonna revert to back to what he knows, what his, you know, his DNA is. He he's a fighter, man. He's much like Paul Williams. That Paul Williams was what six one, six two, fighting at one forty seven, and he liked the he liked to mix it up, mix it up. He didn't use his uh, advantages with his long, long arms. But um, yeah, I see uh, Mikey Garcia possibly getting the stoppage in this fight. I'm gonna say round eight or round nine, and Mikey Garcia, man, he's on a tear, the man. You know, moved up to 140. Now he come back down to one 135. And then after this fight, he said he want to fight, you know, uh, Earl Spence Jr., which I don't like fighters when they're about to fight another fighter. And the fight is already signed talking about other fighters. Now, he said in the interview that he just answering questions. But, you know, and, and you, you know, he want to be, uh, you know, candid and he want to be uh, honest. But to me, I'll be like, I tell him, tell him, guys, hey, I'm, I'm worried about Robert Easter Jr. Uh, we'll talk about that fight. Uh, you know, if I win this fight, get past this fight, and we'll talk about that fight. But right now, my focus is on Robert Easter Jr. Because Robert Easter Jr. is, you know, he, he, he's still a champion. He still should be re respected, you know, as so, so as a champion. So, um, you know, let me know who y'all got. I got uh, Mikey Garcia winning the fight. Uh, competitive fight for the first, I say it, it's going to be the a competitive fight for the first five rounds. You know, let me know what y'all think. Uh, comment below. Subscribe, like. I'm out.